Okay, so um, going on to the next part of the lab activity, I'm going to start in sextant 2 in between teeth 6 and 11, so I'm going to choose number 9, and I'm right-handed, and I'm going to do the facial surfaces towards, so I'm going to use in number 11, so then looking at my instrument, this says 11, this says 12, so I know that I'll be using this end because it's end 11. And we're going to first make sure I have a correct modified pin grasp with these fingers opposite each other, middle finger on the shank, and then my fulcrum. And I'm going to keep that all together as I go onto the tooth. I'm going to start um, when you're doing anterior teeth, you're going to divide the tooth down the middle. And I'm doing surfaces towards, so my tip is pointing towards that towards surface. If I, I can't start this way because I'm doing a towards surface and where I'm sitting. Then I'm also going to make sure that my tip third of my instrument is on the tooth. So the tip third instead of the middle third or the heel third. And then once I start there with the tip third in the middle of the tooth, I'm going to slowly, while keeping my tip on the tooth, pivot and handle roll to keep that tip third on the tooth as I go around. And we have to go really slow, especially as we're learning, because if we start to go too fast, like right there, you can see the tip of my instrument actually isn't on the tooth anymore. So I need to kind of stop right there for a second, roll a lot more before I keep moving, and now that my tip third is back on there, I can keep going. I'm going to move to a surface away. So I've moved up to 12 o'clock. I have my modified pin grasp. I'm gonna set my fulcrum down. This time I'll be on tooth number eight. Uh, again, starting at the midline with my tip pointed towards the surface that I'm gonna be working on, which is the away surface. And I'm making sure that I have my tip third on the tooth, not the middle third or the heel third. Okay, so now that I have my tip third on the tooth, I'm just going to practice rolling and pivoting to keep that tip third on the surface as I go around, just like that. And if I did it incorrectly, I would start right there and you can see right there that my tip third is actually off the tooth so I need to pause right there keep rolling until that gets back on the tooth and then keep going like that another thing that sometimes students do is they get really excited about rolling and so they roll a little too soon so in that case it would look like this where I've rolled but I haven't kept moving my instrument so I'm no longer on the tip third of my instrument I'm only on the tip of my instrument which we don't want to be either so it's a fine balance between rolling soon enough and rolling too soon. Okay, so posterior teeth are going to be a little bit different than the anterior teeth. We're not going to do surfaces um, or divide the tooth in half to do surfaces towards and away. But again, we're going to make sure we have a good modified pin grasp and a good fulcrum. And we start at the distal line angle of the tooth with the tip pointed distally. You can see that right there. And we're just going to roll right around like that and pivot. So we rolled and pivoted, and then um, without picking up your fulcrum, you're going to try to roll the instrument all the way back now so that the tip is pointed mesially, which is the direction we'll be going. And then you're going to practice rolling and pivoting the instrument that way. And then again, with this instrument, we want to make sure that we're on the tip third, so not like the middle third, the heel third, or even just on the straight tip like that. So we're going to start on the tip third and then as we're going around it stays pretty flat until about right here at the line angle then we're going to have to start rolling a lot more as we go in or approximately like that. So you can see a lot more rolling right there.